Hi, Giovanni. Uh, just if we could have a, a squad update after this St. Johnston match, please, for, for Aberdeen. <clears throat> Uh, we have um, well more players available. Helander is back. Um, Ryan Jack is back. Uh, Aaron Ramsey is back, and we are only missing uh, Yanis, uh, Steve, Davis, Steve Davis, and uh, Diallo. The other ones are all available for me. Thank you. And uh, I just wonder on the game itself, your thoughts on Aberdeen and and in terms of the the title race, do you see it as an advantage maybe of playing first? At a weekend compared to your rivals, does that help? Does that add pressure in your experience? How do you do you see that one fit? Well, for me, it's um, you know, for me, it doesn't matter if you play first or second. Uh, uh, the three points at this moment of the of the league is the most important thing. So uh, we just go out uh, tomorrow and uh, make sure we have the three points uh, when the final whistle is, is blown. Hi Giovanni, um, a big conversation following the St Johnston game was the lack of substitutions. Obviously at the weekend you only made one substitution as well. Do you think there's a risk that players can become too tired because of the volume of matches that have been played if you're not making substitutions in games? Well, you know, it, it you know, differs uh, which games you play. Of course, you know, you have uh, substitutions. I'm looking for the game, how it's... Uh, you know how the game is, is going, but um, you know, I don't care about how many substitutions I make. I care about the three points. That was all only on my mind and on, um, on, on the game on um, on Wednesday. You know, of course, people will talk about uh, no substitutions or whatever, but uh, you know, it doesn't bother me. I just want to go out and get the three points and uh, take each game um, each game by game. I also wanted to ask um, about something you spoke about last week about wanting your team to, to put teams away when they're on top and take their chances. Do you think that perhaps sometimes there's a lack of goal scorer in your front line? I'm thinking specifically of Kimar Roof and, and Fashion Sakalo maybe starting more in the bench than in, in the starting 11 recently. Well, I mean, we have the chances to score. I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's not case of, uh, okay, who's a good goal scorer, we put them on, on the pitch. It doesn't it doesn't work like that. And uh, you have to create chances. Again, on, on, on Wednesday, we had uh, less chances than, than the games before, but still big chances to uh, to win by a bigger margin. I think the, um, the pitch didn't help our, our game. That was obvious. So uh, in the end, it was just about securing the three points. The club announced this week that uh, they will travel to Australia to play a friendly. There's been a bit of a backlash from some sections of the support. What, what's your take on it? Well, my take is, of course, we, uh, we know there's going to be a, you know, a big gap in the, during the World Cup. I know the club is uh, looking for uh, friendly games, uh, not only in that window, but also in the international windows we have and um, I think it's an opportunity for the club to go there to go uh, uh, to play for our uh, fans who are based in Australia and, and of course the club uh, made a decision to go there and um, because they, they they do everything in the, uh, the best interest of the club so uh, for me you know I just have to respect that decision and and play, uh, you know, a good, uh, good, good couple of friendlies in in Australia in um, in November. At this point in the season, everything is every game is important for Rangers. Obviously, your league game tomorrow, but you've obviously got the the big European tie this week. How much of an eye do you have on the game on Thursday going into tomorrow's game? No, really, not not an eye. Uh, of course, we know the the game is coming up, but um, our mo most important game is is, is tomorrow uh, because we need to uh, to have the three points. So, you know, I, I had a good two days to assess my players physically and uh, who's ready to play, who's not. So, um, in the end, we only think about the game against Aberdeen tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is obviously a, a momentous day for the football club with the official launch of the 150th anniversary celebrations. Does the party atmosphere and everything that's going around that add any extra pressure or spice to the occasion for you and the players? Uh, no, I don't think so because um, all, all we've been focusing is uh, is the game against Aberdeen, which is uh, you know of course a special game because it's uh, 150th anniversary which is a special moment uh, for the club and uh, so 
you know, in the end, we are here to uh, to win games and to be successful. So um, the concentration we have uh, and the focus is only on on winning against Aberdeen tomorrow. There's been a, a bit of unrest this week around the sport base, around the trip to Australia and various other things. At a time when probably the sporters have to be uh, closer united as ever in a big title race that's coming to close to end like this. Do you have a message to the fans going into this very pivotal, important part of the season with nine games to go? Well, the message is clear. I mean, we, we need all the support we have, um, and uh, which, which the supporters gave us also on last Wednesday. Of course, they are entitled and, uh, to their opinions, which, which is, which is uh, you know, okay. So, um, on the other hand, you, you see they weren't happy with the, with the friendly, obviously, with the, with the, um, uh, when, when you hear them on last Wednesday, but they also supported us. So, in the end, you know, we have to be successful. Uh, I think they are uh, more than um, um, capable of supporting uh, still the team because, we, you know, we want to be successful this season. I, I, I have no doubt that the supporters will will be full uh, behind us uh, on uh, tomorrow against Aberdeen. So I think that that's all uh, that matters. Of course, you know, they, they, they show they're not happy about the friendly we're, we're going to play on, on November, but still they are backing us uh, as a team and as a club.